Hey, what is up, everybody? It is SciSwabs coming at you guys with my first ever gameplay commentary of some Assassin's Creed 3 multiplayer. Today, you guys will be seeing me play some simple deathmatch on the map, I believe, at Virginia Plantation. And it uh, looks like my first target in this particular gameplay is going to be the Justin Bieber lookalike. Uh, considering that none of the players and or none of the characters in multiplayer actually have like individual names, uh, I actually just went ahead and kind of uh, stereotyped every single character in the game. And you know, whenever I'm like playing with friends, I'm like, yeah, I'm chasing down this guy, and he's got like some random crazy stupid name uh, but this guy is he just to be able to look like I think I'm gonna be getting the kill on him in just a moment hopefully I do get the first blood uh, but that is not the purpose of this video uh, today I have a few different things I want to talk to y'all about so let's go ahead and get into it uh, first and foremost I want to talk to y'all about the editing that I actually uh, went ahead and did on this video uh, I just want to say that uh, this video is kind of sort of edited a little awkwardly considering that uh, simple death matches or pretty much any free for alls in um, Assassin's Creed 3 multiplayer are like 10 minutes long. I actually had to go ahead and cut out some of the dry spells that I had. Uh, I think I did relatively well in this game. I think I got like over 4,000 points or something like that without, you know, really ruining my score. I uh, don't really want to say too much about that. But uh, I did relatively well. Um, but I did have a, a quick dry spell uh, a couple of times where, you know, I was just getting killed one after another or I was just like mindlessly walking around doing nothing. Uh, so I went ahead and actually cut those portions out of this video and uh, just kept the portions in where I'm actually getting kills and stuns and, you know, people are actually getting really awesome kills on me and stuff like that and uh, in the comment section below at the end of this video guys I want y'all to leave a quick comment uh, just talking about what you guys think is the best way to go about editing an Assassin's Creed 3 video um, would you guys like me to you know take a full 10 minute game and just cut out like the dry portions and you know only have one game per video or would you guys think that I should do something like where I take like two or three games and like I combine them all together into one video uh, and only show like the kills and stuns and stuff like that uh, you know all together in one one video if you know what I'm saying uh, so yeah guys it, uh, after you guys watch this video uh, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below uh, you know suggesting ways that I could go about editing um, you know Assassin's Creed 3 gameplay because obviously I want to take it down from 10 minutes to keep it you know within six to seven minutes or so uh, because that is the uh, ideal time for YouTube videos if you guys know what I'm talking about and uh, yeah so anyways guys now that we have that out of the way uh, I want to just go ahead and quickly talk to you guys about what I think about Assassin's Creed 3 as a whole now there's not really a whole lot that I can say about this game other than AC3 is freaking awesome now uh, if you guys go around and you check websites like uh, IGN or I think uh, Kotaku as well, uh, I think they gave it a not so awesome score of like 8.5. Um, and this is just based on IGN, of course. I actually kind of sort of read the IGN review and some people actually told me about it. Uh, as well, but apparently, according to IGN, uh, the reason why uh, Assassin's Creed 3 is not merited as a nine or higher is because Assassin's Creed 3 has too much stuff to do in the game. Like, I kind of understand where they're going with that um, in terms of like, uh, whenever you first start to develop Connor in the game, you know, don't really want to ruin anything here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about something that really is insignificant to the actual storyline. Uh, but whenever you start developing Connor, you actually have to go through like a portion of like really boring stuff to do. Like, you just have to do it and it's just really pointless like it literally makes no sense why you have to do it because in the end like when you actually finish that portion or that quest it's just like oh whatever you just did totally didn't make sense but we made you do it anyways and I kinda understand where IGN was going with that um, in that you know there's too much stuff to do in the actual game um, and that's probably why they gave it an, uh, an 8.5 but even with that being said guys I still think that uh, you know Assassin's Creed 3 is merited to be a 9 or a higher uh, it has some great character development it has some great voice acting you know uh, the guy that plays um, you know Drake in the Uncharted series you know returns to voice Desmond again um, and I just think that the game single player as a whole is really well done like I haven't really gotten all that far in the game as of right now uh, I think in terms of like synchronization I'm at like 7% of the whole game or something like that uh, the last time I checked uh, so you know I'm about like one tenth to maybe like one eighth of the way through the game um, but I will say uh, single player is pretty freaking badass uh, I'm just now I'm starting to develop Connor I uh, really like the way that they've actually you know developed Connor in this game uh, you know and if you don't know who Connor is he's the main character in the game and I'm pretty sure most of you guys should already know that uh, considering that you know he's on like the front cover and everything like that and people just have been talking about it for like the longest time um, but uh, yeah so in terms of multiplayer guys I think Assassin's Creed 3 definitely has a pretty awesome multiplayer uh, obviously as you guys can see uh, there are situations in the multiplayer where it gets relatively slow 
Uh, you know, obviously, uh, Assassin's Creed 3 is the kind of a game where you're supposed to, you know, be all stealthy and stuff like that. You're not really supposed to go out there and, you know, just hack and slash at people. Um, so it kind of does get slow. And for those of you guys that are, you know, somewhat impatient and, you know, are into shooters and stuff like that, where you just have to go out there and, you know, just mow people down with bullets, uh, this is probably not the game for you in terms of multiplayer um, you know obviously people that are gonna buy this game are gonna get it for the single player but I think the multiplayer is a nice touch uh, I definitely do think that this is one of those games where $59.99 is actually merit is a good merited price for the game uh, has a really well done single player and has a pretty solid uh, multiplayer to kind of lay back on whenever you guys get bored of playing Halo 4 and or Black Ops uh, in the upcoming week so yeah guys uh, I gotta say Assassin's Creed 3 pretty well rounded game uh, if you guys are skeptical about buying it uh, please Please do lose that skepticism and actually go out and buy this game. It is freaking awesome. You, it will, or you will not be disappointed uh, whenever you pick up this game. So go ahead and check it out, guys. I highly do suggest it. So uh, now that we have that out of the way, uh, before I go ahead and end this video, I just want to quickly talk to you guys about what the plans are uh, for this channel in terms of uh, Black Ops, uh, you know, Assassin's Creed, and Halo. Uh, obviously, uh, Assassin's Creed has already come out, and uh, Halo comes out on Monday night, which I'm actually going to be going to the midnight premiere or midnight release of, hopefully. And then Black Ops comes out a week from this Tuesday as well. So, uh, in terms of that, guys, uh, I'm actually going to be reviving this channel. Uh, basically, the reason why I haven't really been posting a whole lot of videos on this channel is because I've really had a lack of motivation to play video games. I've actually been playing a lot of League of Legends as of late, and uh, not exactly sure how many League of Legends fans I actually have out there. So, you know, guys, I play League of Legends. I like it. I want to make commentaries on it. If y'all want to see some, leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, but I really had a lack of motivation to actually play real video games. And also, whenever it comes to the weekend, I actually have to go and work at GameStop sometimes. Uh, so with that being said, guys, uh, now that you know the new era for this year has come around, uh, with Assassin's Creed 3 already being out, and uh, totally should have gotten that air kill right there. Um, but with Assassin's Creed 3 already being out, uh, you know Halo 4 coming out in just a couple of days, and Black Ops 2 just around the corner as well. Uh, I'm definitely going to be putting up a lot more videos of that kind of stuff, and uh, yeah. And also, uh, I'm not sure if you guys remember a long ass time ago I talked to you guys about, uh, you know, revitalizing my Tetra Radon channel. That might still be a thing. Um, I'm seeing if somebody actually wants to work together on that, uh, you know, to where we can actually do something with that channel once again. Uh, but we'll just have to go ahead and wait and see. But what happens over the next two to three days? So. Uh, yeah, so anyways guys, thank you for watching, uh, make sure to leave a comment, uh, make sure you to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and also, uh, for the latest and greatest updates, go ahead and check out my Twitter at twitter.com slash sideswipes, uh, that's where I'll be posting all my updates on what I'm gonna be doing with, like, you know, the Tetra Radon channel, if I actually do have something to do with it, and, uh, if I actually go to the midnight release, and, you know, I'll be posting pictures if I go there and stuff like that, or whatever, I don't know, I don't really know what I'm gonna do, but, uh, yeah, so anyways guys, thank you for watching, and, uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.